Hi, welcome to a warm evening in Chesterfield. Today is a special day for us too. It's our ninth wedding anniversary and uh, say nine years with me must have been hell for her. I brought her here to say hello and introduce herself. Hello. As a little prize for my uh, ninth anniversary, she's bought me a uh, little blue box. So we're going to take a close look to see what is inside and what we can do with it. A little treat from the wife for the wedding anniversary. What do you think we've got in here? That's the question. So let's open it up and see what we've got inside. Nice little gift from the wife. We've unboxed it and got everything out and this is what I've got with the package. I've got a few more reagents to do, but you've got the uh, 83303 unit itself, which is battery powered and also USB to mains power supply. You've got the instruction manual, which is so easy to follow, it's unbelievable. Couldn't actually leave it, but all the tests are in alphabetical order. and then how to set it up but I did notice when I switched it on that to the time and everything's already set you get a large vial to collect the mains water and you get four smaller vials for the samples and it is as simple as that so we'll do a couple of tests and uh, you can see how easy it is to follow I'm just going to do a quick flip through of what you've got and uh, do the first four basic tests, three basic tests and a nitrate, which some people do, some people don't. So what we do is switch the unit on and it boots up. And then it's ready to go. So you select the method and then you can scroll down to whichever parameter you want to check. It was on ammonia, low rates, so we'll select that one. Select. And then it's waiting for the test. So what I'm going to do is take a sample first. So take a 10 mil sample, put the cap on, put the lid on, open the unit, put in a sample and then zero. So that will then check the water and zero. What I'm going to do is keep that sample out to use on anything else to save time. Then take another sample that we're going to actually test. So what you have is two reagents A and B and you put four drops of each into there. Not sure if you can see this on camera. I'll try my best. It's four drops. And it says mix briefly. Then use reagent B. Ensure it's upright. Four drops. Put in the stopper. Put on the top. Give it a little shake round. Pop it in there. First you press is timer. Three minutes, 30 seconds and away it goes. And then you wait three minutes and 30 seconds 
I'll speed this bit up. Then when the time's up, you're then ready to do the reading. So you press read, and that is reading, and that says it's zero. I'm just gonna zoom in. Not sure if you can see that. I'll take some photos just in case. But then you've got a choice of reading, so you can press the arrow, press the chemical form, and it gives you ammonia minus nitrate, uh, nitrogen, nitrate. Press it again, you've got just ammonia, and it's still zero milligrams per litre, and then you've got ammonium which is NH4, which is zero. I know it gets into a bit of a minefield with total ammonia, free ammonia, and ionized ammonia. But that's the choices on ammonia. The next reading we're gonna do is the pH. So if you click on method, you then just scroll through the menu in the alphabetical order till you get to pH, and then click select. Open the tub up, put the sample in that we did earlier, press zero, and that zeroes it. I'm just going to zoom out so you can see. Take an empty vial, Take 10 ml from the pond water. We then take pH reagent and we add five drops. Put the stopper in, put the cap on, give it a gentle shake, mix it up. Pop the test in there and press read and it instantly gives you a pH reading of 7.9. Just to uh, give a compare on the Senai, that says it's 7.48. Either way, it's between 7.5 and, and 8. I'm now going to check nitrite, so select method and scroll to the nitrite, you've got nitrate, nitrite marine low, ultra low reading, nitrite low reading, that's what we're going to select. So put your sample in, zero. Take your sample out, take your vial, take 10 ml again of pond water. That's 10 ml. Into that we take the nitrite sachet. There you go. This is the first time I've ever done this, so I'm not sure. Any right or wrong way, but that's. Yeah, that's all the powder in. Put on the stopper. Let's 
to shake gently for 15 seconds. And there's different methods of agitation from shaking vigorously, shaking gently. But he does give you the instructions of how to do it and what to avoid. Sometimes you have to try and avoid getting bubbles into the fluid. That should be about 15 seconds. <coughs> then pop the sample in there, press timer, which is 15 minutes. So again, I'll speed this bit up and we'll come back in 15 minutes. So that's the timer complete and it does give you a reading straight away if you're not 100% sure press the read button and what we've got there is a nitrite reading of 25 micrograms per litre that is nitrite uh, nitrogen so again if you press the down arrow your chemical formulation there and that'll give you nitrite alone which is 82 micrograms per litre <coughs> excuse me press the button again you get NaNO2 which is 122 micrograms per litre so the one that matters is the NO2 on its own which is 82 micrograms per litre you can see that I'll zoom in just to give you a chance Not sure if you can tell because there's a light or anything. But I'll take a photo and put it on anyway. And last but least, we're going to do a nitrate test. Some people do them, some people don't. Some people worry about it, and uh, others don't, as it's the least harmful of the parameters. So, take a vial sample from the pond. We we'll change the method to nitrate, nitrate, select and then as usual zero off. Now I've got 10 mil there. I've got one of these sachets to open. Again, still getting used to doing these sachets. So put all the powder into the tub, put in the stopper, put in the and it says to agitate 10 seconds that way and then 50 seconds this way. Careful not to introduce any air bubbles and remember the powder will not always dissolve in the cuvette or vial, whatever it's called. I think that's about 50 seconds. So I'm going to open that, pop that inside, press timer, and that's 4 minutes 30 seconds countdown. Once the uh, four and a half minutes is up, it will give you an instant reading straight away. And that says for nitrate and nitrogen, 7.3 milligrams per litre. And again, if you want to do a check of the other parameters, take the chemical form and we've got 32.2 milligrams per litre of nitrate. So that's the two readings. That concludes the four basic tests. I will do the other tests on part two, which includes the chlorine and the dissolved oxygen. The Hannah meter is a very expensive toy for uh, koi keepers, and it's not something that you need or should have or anything. There are plenty of test kits out there, and they're plenty affordable, and they do equally as good a job to an extent. 
what I mean by that is with all test kits you take a sample of water you either dip something in it or you add some reagent in it and then wait a short length of time before checking out the colour of the uh, sample against the chart. My eyes are not the best thing so I always struggled with uh, pH for accuracy and also ammonia and nitrite. With this it gives me a specific reading that I can check that is whether it's in the parameters or whether it's good or not. I'm not saying you should have this or you need this or anything like that, it's just that I'm in a position where I've got one. It's still going to cost me for reagents, uh, if I buy enough it will it will probably take it down to about 50p a test if that, but it, you can get satisfactory water parameters with just a HANA handheld checker or your, uh, your Pond Lab 200 or your uh, one of your Columbuses or whatever is, is similar or you can afford. I was going to buy a set of the hand checkers after seeing online how good they were and how people were using them and then I worked out that I need one for ammonia, one for nitrite, or one for nitrate, one for pH, one for chlorine and one for dissolved oxygen and by the time I'd worked it out there was 70 odd pound a piece plus the reagents and for a couple hundred pound more I found a cracking deal online that uh, gave me this whole kit to play about with so now I can take a sample of water, sit in comfort, test it and know exactly what the uh, readings are, exactly what the parameters are and not having to try and work out what lights it's, it's in, whether my app's correct, whether uh, the, the, it's too bright, too dark, whatever, I've got no arguments now, it comes straight up with a figure so long as I put the right amount of water in, the right amount of drops. I must admit on the first part, doing the first four tests, I quite like it and it is a satisfactory uh, test kit. The meter does a lot of other things, it's also got a log diary in there where you can basically re uh, save the test results and assign a name to them or a reading to them and you can uh, upload them onto your computer and, and keep a log and see whether you have any issues anywhere. It has several other functions as well on the uh, uh, piece of kit that I'm probably never going to use, it's a scientific base water treatment testing etc and I'm just using it for the uh, Koi keeping pond hobby but out of the 18 parameters it can check I can do five or six comfortably on a regular basis and get an accurate result so for me I'm happy for you guys you don't have to have one of these but uh, if you can afford one this is the advantages of having one if you can't continue with the pond uh, test kits exactly as you are but if you are interested this is what it can do and this is what uh, it's capable of. If you enjoyed this video please hit the like button and subscribe, check out some more videos. Thanks a lot for watching, happy ponding. If you enjoyed the video please hit the like button and subscribe, check out some more videos. But well, Thanks a lot for watching, happy ponding.